Penne arabiata usually takes a little bit of time to get that delicious, rich, spicy sauce. But today I'm going to show you my speedier version, still packed with flavour and with lots of little extras to give it some more oomph, like chorizo, roasted peppers and lovely nuggets of creamy mozzarella. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen, where we show you how to make delicious, family-friendly recipes. Now, whether you're cooking for a special occasion or you just want to get dinner on the table quickly, this 30-minute penne arrabbiata is sure to impress. So let's get cooking. We're going to start by charring the peppers. Place two bell peppers under the grill on a high heat until they're blackened and charred all over, about 10 to 12 minutes. You'll need to turn a few times to ensure they're blackened all over. So while the peppers are cooking, we're going to make the rest of the dish, starting with the pasta. You want to bring a large pan of water to the boil, and then we're going to cook 400 grams, which is about 14 ounces of penne pasta, as per the pack instructions. Heat a tablespoon of oil in a large frying pan over a medium heat. Then we're going to add a chopped onion and fry for about two to three minutes, stirring regularly until the onion starts to soften. Next in goes 200 grams or seven ounces of sliced chorizo. We're going to fry that together with the onion for about three to four minutes until that chorizo starts to release its oils. Now stir in two cloves of minced garlic and a tablespoon of tomato puree or paste and cook for a further minute while stirring. Next in goes 400 grams or a 14 ounce tin of finely chopped tomatoes, along with a teaspoon of dried thyme, a heaped teaspoon of dried chili flakes and a teaspoon of sugar. Stir all that together and bring to the boil, then turn down the heat and simmer for 10 minutes. Now we've wrapped those peppers in some foil and that just allows the peppers to sweat a little bit so it's easier to remove those skins. So we're going to remove the skins, slice up the peppers and then add them into the sauce. Now you could replace these peppers with a jar of ready roasted peppers if you prefer, but it's nice and cheap to do it this way and I actually prefer the flavour. So add those sliced roasted peppers into the pan and by now the pasta should be ready. So we want to drain the pasta reserving about a cup of the pasta cooking water. Then add the pasta to the pan along with a good splash of that pasta water and stir it all together. We want to make sure that lovely spicy sauce thoroughly coats the pasta and we've got those chorizo pieces and roasted pepper slices nicely distributed throughout. And now we're going to tear up about 200 grams or 7 ounces of mozzarella and nestle those pieces within the pasta. Then heat the pasta through for a further minute just to allow that mozzarella to melt down a little and then we're ready to serve. Serve it with some grated parmesan, some chopped up spring onions, chili flakes and a sprinkling of black pepper. And there's my spicy penne arrabbiata with chorizo and mozzarella. I really recommend roasting those peppers yourself. It adds a lovely touch of sweetness to the dish. See you next time. Mm -hmm.